Hello everyone, my name is Shine. Today I am reacting to Te Ming Gyu with Recuerdos de Buenos Aires. Uh, on a reaction in Te Ming Gyu with Recuerdos de Buenos Aires. Um, from what I understand, um, Ming Gyu himself wrote the lyrics, he also composed it as well. So I'm very interested to see how this goes. Obviously, this is in Spanish, um, so I'm very intrigued um, to see how it goes. Also, I know he had a concert, and he's going to have a, um, an encore concert at the end of the month. So, I might go. Honestly, I might honestly, sincerely go, but I'm going to be in Seoul that next week, so it's like... There's no point in me going to Seoul once to go to Seoul again. So I will think about it sincerely, but I will try to see if I can go irregardless. So I want to check this out. I'm very, I was intrigued when I heard that it's like, obviously it is a Spanish title. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it is Spanish. Because um, obviously there's obviously other different types of, um, I don't want to say dialects, but other languages in this. Anyway, um, but with Gredos de Buenos Aires. Uh, I'm very excited to see how this goes, so I'm going to get straight into it. Without further ado, this is Choi Ming Gyu with the Recuerdos de Buenos Aires. Here we go. Okay. Oh, 
I feel like this is very Choi Mingyu, I feel like. It's like, um, how do I put it? Because I don't want to say eccentric, but like he definitely has that flair that he could definitely pull this off. Um, I don't know how to put it though. But um, Choi Mingyu, Choi Mingyu, it's very interesting. Honestly, as someone who's not really experienced with this kind of genre or like this kind of music or like, like at least like Spanish speaking, like Spanish speaking, Spanish songs in general, like the language in it, like I studied in high school, but that was it. Um, obviously you can tell by my horrendous pronunciation of this, of this title. Uh, if you just showed it to me and I didn't know it was by a Korean singer, I had no idea who this was and he just presented it to me. I would think, honestly, personally for me, that this was sung by someone who is from a Spanish-speaking country. Um, so I really like it though. It's really interesting. Like, I, I know I'm not saying much and like a lot of people are like, oh my god, this is so good and whatnot. It's just mostly for me, I'm not used to this kind of style of music. Uh, it's something that I don't n normally listen to. It's like a tango kind of song. So it's like not something that I'm used to listening to, so I'm still trying to process it. However, it's I like it. I vibe with it. That's what I want to say with it. I vibe with it. Um, it's very interesting for me to see, especially to know that, you know, Minkyu himself wrote the lyrics. It's like, I wonder how he did it. Um, and like, you know, obviously, did he, and he of course, um, he definitely studied a lot to do this. And it's very interesting. Like I said, I really want to go to his concert. Um, and hear this live, and this is like, oh, Mingyu. Definitely, like, this is something I would expect Mingyu to sing. I don't know if it's just because of, like, what I've seen in terms of, like, the like the solo stuff that did at Forest Dolls concert and stuff like that. But regardless, I really like it. I vibe with it. Um, but I'm, like, still, you know, processing it because it's, like, like I said, it's not my, normally my type of music. So that's why I'm just like, hmm, okay, that's very interesting for me. So, yes, Choi Mingyu with Cuedos de Buenos Aires. I pronounced that wrong. I know I'm butchering it, but by Choi Mingyu, honestly, like I said, if you just handed it to me, let me listen to it. No idea who the singer was. I definitely think there was probably some Spanish speaker who um, does sing this. And um, honestly, it'd be very funny and very, not funny, but it'd be very interesting to see this song because, it, like I said, does have a tango kind of feel to it to see this on like the shows like those dancing shows like you know like dancing with the stars like and stuff like that to hear it on that show and see them do tango to it would be very interesting because it's like oh by the way it's sung by a korean singer um but yes Choi Mingyu, Oguedos de Buenos Aires I I vibe with it like I said it's not my style of music so don't get mad at me um but it's definitely worth worth a listen more than once to eventually get used to it so honestly I'm gonna think about maybe going to Mingyu's encore concert um, because I, like I said, it is in Seoul. I go to Seoul the following week, um, because my family's gonna be here. So I'll think about, I'll think about going. So yes, Mingyu with Cuero de Buenos Aires. I vibe with it. Not my personal style of music, but definitely find it interesting how he did this in another language, and he definitely had to study a lot. So yeah, Choi Mingyu. I cannot wait to see some more from him, and hopefully hear from the other members of Warsola as well. So yes, hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, like, subscribe. All the fun stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.